we're back <laughs> for another episode of building the Nantahala retreat. I can barely push this cart because it weighs about 500 pounds because tile is heavy. Let's get going. Hey boss. Hey, you ready to do some tile, bub? What? You ready to do some tile? Oh, I'm not working today. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I got 500 pounds of tile in my truck. What? Yeah. Dad, I ain't giving a tile. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Looks good. Yeah, some people get here before nine. <laughs> The best tool you can buy to make tile work easy is a wet saw. It actually uses a pump to pump water onto the blade, which cools it and also helps to keep the dust down. And as opposed to most miter saws, the base is what moves, not the actual saw head. I'm getting going by doing some layout work and I've just got a whole pack of these tiles in here. If I start with a full piece on this side, which I would love to do, so I don't have to cut on this side. Whoop, over here, I end up with this rip and you can see it's about one inch. And that's exactly what I don't want to happen. So uh, what we're gonna have to do is actually cut this tile maybe just slightly over half and we'll end up with just slightly over half a tile that way. These tiles are two feet by one foot nominally and that means they actually measure a little less than that. And I think that's so that it actually comes out on even foot increments when you add in the grout joint and you don't actually have to lay a bunch of tile on the floor to do your layout. You can actually just measure with a tape measure if you know the measurements of the tile. But I like to do it this way just in case there's any inconsistency within the batch of tile. Also, we're laying this tile in a brick style pattern, which is pretty common for this rectangular shaped tile. This piece of metal called a sluter strip will be the termination for the end of our tile. And they come in different depths ranging from a quarter inch to a half inch. To get going here, I'm trialing the thin set onto the floor, but I'm being careful not to actually cover up my chalk line with that thin set so I can get this first row nice and straight. This first row is basically a basis of how straight the rest of the rows will be. It's time to take a quick break to thank our sponsor for today's video, Policy Genius. If someone relies on your financial support, whether it be a child or a spouse or an aging parent, you need life insurance. And to properly provide for your family, most people need about 10 times the life insurance that's provided through their employers. Actually, I have life insurance. Actually, I'm worth more like dead than alive, so. Uh, don't tell my wife about that, okay? So why use Policy Genius? Well, Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. And it's important to compare because you could save up to 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The licensed experts at Policy Genius work for you, not for the insurance companies, so you can trust them to help you navigate every step of the process from shopping to buying. Eligible applicants can get covered in as little as one week thanks to an award-winning policy option that swaps the standard medical exam with a phone call. And that exclusive policy was actually recently rated number one by Forbes Advisor. Getting started is easy. Just head to policygenius.com slash Perkins, and in minutes, they can help you find out how much coverage you actually need, and then they can get you personalized quotes to find your best price. And when you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle all of the paperwork and scheduling for free. Policy Genius has no added fee. So head to policygenius.com slash Perkins right now to get started. And thanks to Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. What's your favorite part about laying tile? Uh, let me think about that for a second. Um, um, <laughs> okay. <nothing. laughs> wow! Lost my shaft there. Yeah, you definitely can't see that. We're gonna use this leveling system uh, that will allow us with these larger tiles to actually lift the tiles up if we need to level them across the top. And normally I don't do this because I'm old school and I like to just, 
just beat on them and do it by hand, use a level, but not today. We're gonna use technology. So these go in here like this. They go under, of course this corner is, you know, a sluter there. Like so. And then the top will run down on it like that. And so this will press against the top of the tile. That'll pull against the bottom if we need to actually pull these up level with another tile. We'll see. Okay, stupid question. Yep. Aren't these gonna get in the way when you're walking? <laughs> After you get the That's a good question. So they just snap off. Maybe we can demonstrate. You just like hit them with a hammer and they just, just like break. Uh, and so that little piece actually stays forever, just the foot. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. I'm gonna try it out. These little tiles are a little lower, and we'll see if it works. So much anticipation. You know what? It worked. <laughs> that's awesome. That is really cool. That is nice. Uh, for big tile, especially easy button. When you're doing tile, there's a few things that can really help you out. Number one is you just take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Yo, bro, hurry up, man. Are you done yet? Chop, chop, let's go. Number two, it can be really messy working with thin sets, so try to keep your hands clean so you're not smudging thin set all over the surface of your tile you're working with. Ah! And number three, try not to work yourself into a corner to where you can't actually set the last few tiles, because that can happen. Oh yeah, and get yourself some good able-bodied help because tile's a lot of work. You can see that I'm only putting thin set on the floor just ahead of where I'm setting tile and that's so that the thin set doesn't dry out ahead of me setting the tile on it and make those tiles actually sit up proud compared to the ones that I set on the soft mud. How are you gonna cut that hole, bud? <laughs> you mean how are you gonna cut that hole? <laughs> I have no idea. That's all you, bro. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cut a square from the back with that. This cutout is for around the toilet flange, and this is about the fastest way or the cleanest way that we've found to do it using an angle grinder. For the smaller holes around the supply lines here, we don't have a diamond drill bit with us today, so what we're doing is cutting a small square from the back, and you have about an inch and a half coverage from the discussion that goes around the pipe in the finish. See how she fits. Wow. I think it's a perfect fit. Yeah, I've seen better. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't hear about all the good stuff I do. All you hear is about the bad stuff I do. <laughs> this mud's a little dry. Whatever, bro. It's been sitting there for a half hour while you're on the phone, that's why. Dude, you're like, who's that? Hansel and Gretel or whatever? It's too wet. Oh! Oh, yeah, let's get that on camera. Oh, there we go. He is human. It's too wet. It's too dry. It's too this. It's too bad. I need the factory edge to the to the right and, and this way, like perfect. Oh, you did it right. See, of course. I, thought, <laughs> I thought you might actually try to start botching this. You know how like they say if you mess up the laundry one time, you don't have to do laundry anymore. Yeah, that's what I've been trying. I, to do I thought you might actually be doing that. Yeah, I've been doing that for three years, bro. And it doesn't work. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> We're using a half inch by half inch notch trowel. Yes. And that's because these are large tiles. Yes. Gives you a little more wiggle room to, to level them out or if the surface okay. under is a little up and down. We're using large format tile mortar, which is the thin set. And on a serious note, I really hope these break off later or else it's going to look like we got golf tees. <laughs> well, what are those? What are we calling So we're calling things? these golf tees because that makes okay. me feel a little better like I'm playing golf instead of tiling. Yeah, but everything would be going to the left though then. And we're calling these whirly gigs. I think that's a great name for them. I didn't even catch that. Golfing, I said, yeah, but everything would be going to the left, though, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, I caught it that time. I shouldn't go out of puss over here. <laughs> Jason, is there another one of those? This is the other tile cutting tool we're using and it scores a line with a hardened metal wheel and then you press against the tile with a rubber foot which snaps the tile in a straight line, hopefully if you do it right. On a serious note though, how many pairs of glasses do you actually need? How many do I have? <laughs> Two right now. Oh. Well, these are readers. 
And these must be seen. What are you reading? We're working. Dude, I gotta read my tape measure, bro. Oh, your tape measure. Make your precision cut or else you whine. <laughs> Before we started in with the tile on the master bath floor, we went ahead and got a coat of this Aqua Defense rubber membrane rolled onto the shower walls and we'll do two coats total. And while the guys were getting a coat on the other shower walls, I decided to go a little different here and make all of the cuts on the first few rows of tile before mixing any mud. And I think that did speed me up. One note if you're new to this is to make sure to leave a grout joint against the tub and we usually use grout caulk there, which is a little more flexible. Hey, tile looks great, bud. Um, I was wondering though why you're not using the tees and the uh, whirly birds. You know, they were cool and all, but I think it was slowing me way down. I think you're. But I think I can get them just as level if I really focus. I think you're building a way tile was slowing me down. <laughs> yeah, I got Picasso <laughs> putting this freaking mud on though. It's taking forever. <laughs> it's good. It's you good. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> That's not speeding me up. <laughs> On a serious note though, um, I think it was giving me a lot more squeeze out using those things. So when I set the tile, I like to bump it like all the way tight and then drop it and then pull it back so it don't get squeezed out in the joint. But those things I couldn't bump it tight. And so I was just dropping it right in place, pressing it and it's getting squeezed out in all the joints. And then I was having to go back and clean all that out. And that was taking a lot of time too. And I couldn't really clean it out around the little golf tee very good either. So we're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to deal with that later. After all my smack talking about the golf tees and the whirly gigs, I ended up using two of them. Well, look, so, looky, looky there. I think they are good for something. I wouldn't use them on every joint, but if you got a problem spot, level it up. Perfect. Down near the end of the day, when you're holding one of these tiles that took a long time to measure and cut, it's like it's like holding a newborn baby or something. Yeah, like, you, you feel like if you drop this thing, it could be actually the end of the world. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try not to snap this while I put it in. You're gonna hear a lot of cuss words right here. Tile can be very brittle, and that's the stressful part about it. When you're doing intricate cuts, it takes a long time to measure and cut, and then you're very likely to just break it by accident while you're installing it. And that's a wrap on two out of the four bathroom floors in this house. All right, nice work, Jono. Yeah, man, thanks. Ray, Jason. What? Boy. What? <laughs> Whatever. Hey, thanks for building with us today. We really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That really does help. And we'll see you on the next one. these bees out here. <laughs> Jesus is getting so mad. <laughs>